Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Final Concepts and today I'm going to show you how to turn a flat image into a more 3D like image. So let's just get into it. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. So first of all, we will open up our application. I'm using Photoshop CC 2018 and I'll quickly drag my image in here. I'll be using this bat image for now. Um, since it's transparent, let's just create a background for that. So for that, I'll just use the paint bucket tool and I'll create a background. Now what we want to do is actually use the dodge and burn tool if you haven't used it we have a dedicated video i'll leave it linked in the description below you can watch it and get more insight now the fun part about this image is it is symmetrical so i can just work on one part then after that i'll just quickly reverse it horizontally so um i'll quickly bring up my ruler by you holding down ctrl and press r and I'll click and drag this to the center. So I have the center right here. And I'll quickly just take away one part. So uh, you know what? I'll just delete it. So let's hide our rulers and the lines. So to get the best out of this, I'll be using the lasso tool, which is here, the polygonal lasso tool, to get specific shapes I want or to create specific selections again we have a dedicated video on the lasso tool i'll leave that one to linked in the description below so you can also follow along so um, what i'll do is let's quickly zoom in then with the polygonal lasso tool i'll click on this edge and make sure i'll click on this edge as well so i'll quickly create a selection from here so Holding down control or just double clicking, I have this selection. Then I'll grab my dodge and bend tool. Then I'll grab my bend tool, which is right here. Now, because if I'm using the bend tool, it is going to be applied onto the image itself. So if I select the layer, everything I do is going to be applied on the image. So if I want to take it out at some portion, I wouldn't be able to. So what we will do is actually create a new layer on top of this so that is layer 2 then we'll go to edit and under edit i'll click on fill then i'm going to fill this up with 50 percent gray so this is what we have it's going to cover the entire screen now change the blend mode from normal to overlay so now everything we are going to do the dodge and bend is going to be on layer 2 which is our overlay layer and it is not going to be applied onto the actual image right here so let's quickly grab our lasso tool and create the selection one more time this time around i'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that i have more room to work with okay so let's grab our burn tool with this layer selected that is layer 2 i'll just quickly brush over this particular portion now i want this to be as big as possible and i'll reduce the exposure to about 10 20 percent so that i brush as softly as possible now if i apply it several times then i'm getting the effect so this is what we have now i'm going to do the same thing but this time around I'll do it on the opposite side. So again, I'll create the selection right around here, like so. Double click. I'll grab the bend tool. Then I'll apply it over here gently. Now Ctrl D to deselect and we are already seeing the effect of it. So again, I'll grab the lasso tool and I'll create another selection over here. So click click over here then double click here to create a selection I'll go back to the burn tool then I'll brush gently over this portion and gently over at that portion too 
so we deselect and you see we have that effect so again lasso tool click over let's bring it down a little bit so something like this is okay i'll grab the bend tool and i'll shade over this portion so basically that's it if you want to go into more details you can always add in a few more right around here so that's what i'm going to do just now add a little bit here and i can add a little bit details at the edge of the hair or the ears sorry i actually chose that wrong tool so the burn tool and i'll brush over here now basically um we are done but you can do more with this by using the dodge tool so with the dodge tool you just create a selection so probably around this area now the dodge tool will be brightening up the portions and the burn tool will be darkening it up so if you brush at the same place you applied the brush tool you are basically doing nothing to it you just darken it up and you brighten it up over and over again so i brighten up this area and this time around i'm not even going to create a selection i just brighten up this area and probably this area as well so increasing the brush size by using the bracket key so basically this is what i have now since i'm done i'll go back to the layer the bat layer i'll quickly name this and i'll create a duplicate of that so Control j then i'll go to the move tool by pressing v on the keyboard Control t to bring up the transform if you don't want to hold down Control and press t you can just click on any of these nine corners are they nine eight corners then you just right click and you click on flip horizontal now once it is flipped horizontally you can just click and drag onto the other side you can hold down shift anyway to make sure you have a perfect alignment so i will quickly comment okay now you can see that the um effect is only applied to one direction so we, what we do is we create a duplicate of layer 2 also so Control j and once i'm done i'll just click on any of the edges right click flip horizontal and we have the effect over at that other side now this isn't perfect so i'll quickly align this by using the arrow keys so now we are getting the effect so basically that's how to create a more in-depth 3d like image using adobe photoshop so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is theo from Fino concept and i'll see you guys in the next one